Would you like to make this gorgeous envelope for yourself? Keep watching. Hello everyone, my name is Tina. I'm head of design of Victoria Designs and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this envelope and it's really easy. It's, it's actually so easy, it's, it's crazy and you don't need a lot of materials and tools. Oh yes, if you like the craft with paper like I do and you haven't subscribed yet, you're most welcome to subscribe to this channel. I welcome you all. And now let me show you how to make this envelope. To start, of course, you need some paper. You can make it with any kind of paper that you like. These were made with craft paper. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this envelope with some free principles. Two vintage ledger type papers. And I printed them back to back on 160 grams paper. If you would like these free ledger papers too, just opt in on the link below and they're yours. But as I said, you can do this with any type of paper. Now this ledger paper is in landscape, but I don't care. It's going to look pretty like this too. So put your page vertically and then you need a ruler with a wide side. Now wide, it's, it's like 3 16 of an inch, but that's still wide. So not this side, this side. This side is going to take care that your tears are slightly structured, but also a bit random. It's ideal for this project. And I'm going to start by ripping a piece of this edge. And I want to rip about here just to take the edge off. Don't put your ruler too close to the side because you need something to hold on to. I'm not going to push it down like crazy. No, I'm just firmly but not too firmly gonna hold it and you will see it will slide away but that's kind of the point. Ruler here. I am going to take this corner and I'm going to start to rip. And you see there's already movement going on and that's okay. Now because this is a printed page and not full color craft, you will get some white edges. But that's okay, we're going to take care of that. For now, just let's make those tears. Now, we've made one tear on one side. It's kind of straight but also a bit random and that's perfectly what we need. Now you can determine how wide you want your envelope to be. So this width. Take care, two things. One, if you want your envelope this wide, you might tear into this area. So it's going to end up a bit smaller. I recommend making it a bit larger until you're super certain of your tearing skills. I'm not even super certain of my tearing skills. And the second thing you need to keep in mind is we have to add a bit of glue or double-sided tape as I use on the inside too. So that's going to make the envelope even smaller. So if you have a certain type of card or something else that you want to put into the envelope, make sure you make it large enough. I'm going to try this size. Again, gonna place my ruler. Not too firm, not too loose. Gonna take the corner and I'm going to start to tear and you see there. Some movements of my ruler were by accident, but some were deliberate because I was thinking, huh, this is going way too straight. Oh yes, let's move a little. And then for the bottom one, I think I'm going to go crooked like this. Yes, let's make a diagonal line instead of just a straight line. And this is the part that's going inside the envelope, just to make it a bit more interesting. I teared it diagonally. And this is the part that's going to be the flap. And that can be very artistic. So I'm skipping this one and I'm going to do that by hand just to make it more interesting like this. There's your envelope. Just kidding. So that's the outside. That's the inside. And I'm going to ink the edges to cover up this white. I'm going to put something under here. Because these white tears are a bit wider, I'm going to move in here. Oh, this is going to be very interesting. I actually like this very much with the tear. I'm glad I chose this as the outside. Regular viewers know that this antique linen color is my favorite because it's not too dark and it's not too light. It's a perfect color for a lot of crafts. That's done and now I'm going to fold the envelope and I think I want to go like here. This is really how you like it. You use your own measurements. So 
this. And this flap I'm going to fold over like here. Can't go wrong, as I see. You can even go like super crooked. This envelope is not meant to be straight. Open up again. I'm going to take some double-sided tape. You can easily use some glue stick or another type of glue, of course. And I'm going to tape the outsides of this part of the envelope. Not this one, because otherwise there will be glue here that's not meant to be here. Let's take off the backing. And close the envelope. To close it, there's a million options. Okay, not a million perhaps, but a lot of options. You can simply use a piece of washi tape or you can put a small piece of double-sided tape here and so you won't see anything. You can use some wax seal and a stamp. What I am going to do today is, because I'm in love with twine today, I'm going to close it with some twine. Now, this can be a very beautiful envelope for like a wedding to give your guests with a packet of flower seeds in there or the table numbers or just as decoration. Let me snip that off a bit. Here. And there you have it, a very beautiful envelope. Super easy, super fastly made. You can use any type of paper that you like. I love to use a bit heavier paper, like 160 grams paper. These were 162. And this way you can make a lot of beautiful envelopes for any occasion. Okay, everyone, I really hope you liked this tutorial. Don't forget if you would like to use this paper that I used today, you can download it for free. Just opt in in the link in the description. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your crafty friends. Sharing is super appreciated. And I wish you a truly beautiful crafty day. Bye everyone.